all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about deliverability right when we talk about deliverability i mean email deliverability so if you go to any org and if you type in deliverability under email you see this section coming up and this is where you can define what kind of email services do you want do you want no access do you want system email or do you want all email now what are these three levels and how do they differ from each other let's understand that so salesforce sends out emails right for any kind of uh, uh, use case wherein let's say you created a user or you want to reset a password for a user or let's say you are sending out an email from your automation or you are sending out an email from your apex code there are different ways you can send out emails from salesforce right and that's governed by the deliverability you set on the org level now there are three levels first one is no email wherein only password re reset emails are allowed so if your email deliverability is set to no email the only emails that will go out of salesforce will be password reset emails the ones that when you click on the user reset password an email goes out right that's the only password that will go out but if you do not want just that you also want user creation passwords and password reset emails to go the automatically generated ones then you can switch to system email so whatever is generated automatically or by default from salesforce will go out those are the system email options and then if you have any kind of custom code or process automation sending out emails and any kind of other use case wherein you have to send emails to your users be it some case of business use case or be it some case of a different module that you've implemented or any kind of extra email or an outbound email that is supposed to go out from your system you have to choose all email if you have everything set up properly but your deliverability system says no email your emails will not go out and the same is with system email right so in order to send out emails that come from custom implementation you have to choose all email now all email is default for new orgs that are not sandboxes right so your production environments will be set to all email by default but what about sandboxes so any new and refreshed sandboxes use the system email setting by default you can go ahead and change it but the default setting would be set as system email all right so that can be a deployment step wherein you have to set this from system email to all email and that's when you you can receive all your emails that are coming from custom implementation right so these are the three values and the three values are available here and you can just switch uh, switch them let's say for example you are uh, doing some data migration in your production system right and maybe some some trigger logic runs and emails are supposed to flow out and you do not want that to happen you can simply set the access level to no access right and what will happen is the entire data migration will complete but no emails will flow out from your custom implementation so this comes in handy as a deployment step sometimes all right Cool. That was all from this video. Deliverability. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Type in develop. De wow. <laughs>